Welcome to this five minute lesson in advanced shell programming. The topic of this lesson is substitution operators. And you can see from this list there are quite a number of things to discuss in this lesson in five minutes. Uh, but it really boils down to four operators, four substitution operators. Those operators are a slash, a double slash, a slash pound sign, and a double or and a slash percent sign. Those four substitution operators can be used with shell variables, environment variables, or as shown here, array variables as well. So let's look at some examples. Here I'm using the PWD variable or the value of that variable to, uh, to show these examples that I'm going to uh, show you using the substitution operators. So this is the value of the PWD variable and if I want to do some substitutions on that value, for instance if I want to substitute the first occurrence of a lowercase i for an uppercase x, that would be the syntax for using that substitution operator. That single slash says to do the substitute at the first occurrence of uh, whatever it finds in the pattern. Substitute the pattern for the string. And you can see here that it substituted a lowercase i for an uppercase x, but it did not substitute any, subs any subsequent lowercase i's. It only did the first occurrence. If I wanted to substitute every occurrence of a lowercase i, I would use the double slash operator. And that is going to substitute every occurrence of a lowercase i for an uppercase x. And we can see here's, here's an uppercase x, x, and x. And we can see that that corresponds with the lowercase i's that were substituted. We can also use this with uh, corn shell patterns such as the square brackets. For instance, if I wanted to uh, substitute uh, every occurrence of an E followed by a lowercase e followed by a lowercase n or a lowercase o or a lowercase r and substitute that for six uh, capital E's, this would be the syntax for doing that. So this says to do a substitute of every occurrence of E followed by N, an O, or an R with six uppercase E's. And you can see in the output that it substituted EN for six uppercase E's. You can see that it substituted um, EO, E, and here's an O in our, in our character set, EO with six uppercase E's. And we can see that it also substituted ER there's the R in our character set, so E followed by R, substituted that for six uppercase E's. In the next example, we're using the slash pound sign operator, and that says to do a substitute, a substitute at the beginning of the line. So if it finds the pattern at the beginning of the line, it will substitute that pattern with whatever is in the string. And so in this example you can see I'm suppressing the special meaning of the slash because our value actually begins with the slash. And the reason I'm suppressing that special meaning of the slash is because the separator between the pattern and the um, string that you're substituting the pattern with is a slash. So I have to suppress the special meaning of the slash if it is contained within the pattern in order for it to evaluate it properly. And in this instance we're substituting a slash lowercase home with slash uppercase home. And you can see that's the result. So it did that at the beginning of the value. Slash pound sign says do that at the beginning of the value. Uh, also we can do a slash percent sign which says perform the substitution at the end of the line. So in this instance we're substituting capital S lowercase u b star which says zero or more characters and substitute that for sub underscore ops and if we look at our value of the PWD variable we can see that sub star would match this value 
character is going to match zero or more characters, SUB followed by zero or more characters. So it matched that, and we see that it indeed does match, and that's the result we get. Okay, we got the substitution for that value for sub underscore ops. In the next example, I'm using or I'm setting the PWD variable, the value of the PWD variable, to an array. So it is going to assign each directory in that value to a, an individual array element. So I get array element 1, 2, 3, and 4. And if we echo that out, we can also use the substitution operator, any substitution operator. In this instance, I'm using the substitute every occurrence of the lowercase i with an uppercase x. And it's going to perform that on every array element. And so you see what we get back is each of those array elements with the substitutions performed. And we can use that same syntax with a for loop. And so it is going to perform that substitution on each array element before it substitutes or before it assigns that value to the variable a. And we see that if we just echo out the value of a, it indeed did do the substitutions. It substituted the lowercase i for the letter x, and it did that before it assigned the value to the variable a. So that is the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you would like to be notified of any further five-minute lessons that I upload, please uh, hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching.